Hello, my name is Willow Arlena and welcome to my video channel. I'm here with my assistant and video goddess, Allie, who is helping me with all this. And this is a video about the Tarot of Transformation, which can be found on my website, mysticlifedesign.com. The Tarot Transformation provides the opportunity to connect with yourself and work on everyday life circumstances in order for you to become emotionally, physically, and spiritually aligned on your path. This deck was first published in 2002 with this cover, and it's been reprinted many times with this cover. My hope in sharing these videos with you about this tarot deck and my other healing work is to inspire you on your journey through life. Thank you. Hello, my name is Allie and welcome to a video on the major arcana of the Tarot of Transformation. Uh, the Tarot of Transformation is a tarot deck and book uh, by Willow Arlena and Jasmine Lee Corey. Uh, the Tarot of Transformation has um, 78 total cards, but today we're just gonna focus on the Major Arcana. So the Major Arcana has 21 cards, and it the goal of the deck um, is to illustrate the healing journey um, in a concise way. So the deck has multi-dimensional symbols and meanings, uh, things of that sort. Um, but the underlying perspective, which is uh, the preview of the first one, the underlying perspective of the deck is deep spiritual transformation um, and to also have your human person and human life transformed um, or reshaped in accordance with your spiritual realization. So there are many topics discussed in the deck. Um, and some of those topics are, um, you know, working with guilt, um, developing compassion, uh, creating balance, or working with the shadow. Um, a lot of the cards really highlight um, some of maybe the developmental tasks um, that you must master in order to be whole and to really come into your full personhood. So the cards um, are, are based off of the traditional um, sort of way that the tarot deck is structured. However, the deck has really been altered um, to really reflect the current age and current themes or um, lessons, things like that, that we all are going through um, and that we're all facing. So uh, there's some small alterations, which you'll kind of see as we're going through the major arcana. Um, but we're gonna start with the first one and I'll kind of hold them up to the screen so you can really get a sense of the arts and uh, the different way that it's structured. And I think it can be also really important as we're going through the deck, if you have this deck or you're considering or looking at it, to really notice what comes up in your system um, when you first see the card. I think the book is really great because it really um, talks about the art, talks about symbols, talks about meaning, things like that, and um, how the deck might be showing up in your life or how to use it. But ultimately, um, your connection to the card and your intuition can really be overall a bigger highlight of how it might be working in your life. So we're just going to kind of go through the cards and I'll kind of pause on a few of them so you can get um, a deeper sense of some of the alterations or how the cards maybe uh, appear to me in my own personal life. So let's begin. I'll hold these nice and close to the screen so you can see. So number one is the Magician. Number two is the High Priestess. Number three is the Earth Mother. And the Earth Mother you'll recognize is typically the Empress um, in sort of your basic traditional tarot decks. Similarly, the Green Man is known as the Emperor. And as you can see too, you have the number you have sort of the title of the card, and then you have sort of a little sort of synopsis or sort of a small um, sort of meaning um, to kind of take away from the card. So this one says ruling in harmony with nature. Number five is spiritual leaders. 
Number six is the lovers. Number seven is the chariot. Number eight is balance. Number nine is the crone. Whoopsies. Number 10 is Wheel of Fortune. Number 11 is Strength. And number 12 is the Hangman. So I'm going to pause just um, a second to talk about the Hangman and how it's related to my life. Um, typically, when I see this card in other decks, I don't really connect with it as much. But in this deck, I really love sort of the nature piece, how the hangman is sort of not in charge, it's sort of a submissive role, hence the not in control piece. Um, I think for myself, this card is really important and impactful because for me, it really highlights sort of a time where the ways that I'm working in the world, the ways that I'm trying to control, the ways that I'm, I'm moving through the world maybe aren't serving me. And it's a time, instead of being assertive, to take a step back and say, you know, I don't really know what's going on. The ways in which I'm working in the world aren't really meeting me. And maybe it's a time for me to step back and actually um, put some roots in and potentially let that quiet, let that kind of interpersonal um, introspection allowed me to be guided. And I think sometimes in the quietest times is actually when we get the most guidance. Um, so I really see this card um, as an opportunity, I guess, to stop trying to control things. Um, as a person that's very organized, this card really reminds me of like, hey, organization is maybe not the way out right now. Um, yeah, so I think like I said, this card really allows me to take a deep breath and lean in and really breathe into the not knowing and, and what I can learn from that. So 13 is death, breathing and letting go. 14 is temperance. 15 is the devil, separation from the source. 16 is Kali shattering the structure. 17 is the star guiding light. I really love this one and I also love the moon peace in the darkness. It really resonates with, with me. Um, 19 is the sun. 20 is compassion. And 21 is the multi-dimensional universe. The cosmos. So I just wanted to Thank you all for leaning in uh, to learning more about the deck, um, gaining a little bit more perspective on how it is different from other tarot decks. And again, um, this deck accompanies with the book, The Tarot Transformation by Willow Arlena and Jasmine Lee Corey. Uh, Willow's information, as you saw, is at the beginning and end of this video. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact her and reach out. Um, and please look for future videos with the Minor Arcana and more an in-depth explanation of that. Thank you so much. Hi there. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the Tarot of Transformation. The deck can be found on my website at mysticlifedesign.com. You might also enjoy some of my other books. Seasons of the Goddess, The Cycle Around the Tree of Life, Journey Through the Chakras, A Color and Contemplation Book, and the path through emotional pain. In my healing work, I offer psychic chakra energy readings, archetypal energy psychotherapy, and trauma resolution work. You can find out more about these things at www.mysticlifedesign.com. Thank you so much.